Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am, I may be a bit behind the times with this video, but I thought I'd serve it as just a bit of a reminder on things you may be forgetting to sanitize and how to keep your family safe. So I'm going to run through a bit of information for you just as a bit of a refresher because it has been like seven months since the pandemic started. So here goes. The first thing is to wash your hands. Wash your hands for 20 seconds with soap and water. In my bathroom, I've got a mirror above my basin, which actually shows the clock behind my head. So that's just the lazy way I can't be bothered to sing happy birthday anymore, but 20 seconds is recommended for washing your hands. The next thing, we've got door handles, light switches, computer, keyboard, and mouse, cupboards and handles, anywhere you basically touch. So think about your kitchen, your bedroom, your bathroom, shoe cabinets, even your kettle, make sure you sanitize it. Your letterbox or your gate, because obviously posters coming through, parcels, whatever through. Any bins with lids. Um, if your bin is plastic, you can stick it, the lid straight in the dishwasher over 70 degrees, that's fine. Keys, your car keys, you're going to store whatever, sanitize your car keys when you come in, make sure you wash your hands as well. Also do not leave sanitizer in your car. It is highly flammable. Cars get hotter than the outside temperature. So make sure you do not leave sanitizer in your car, put them like I've got here on your keys and just use a refill to keep topping up the bottle. Also read any information on the back of disinfectants as most disinfectants need two to five minutes to work. So they need to be left on the surface before you wipe them away. Also, there is a massive difference between antibacterial and disinfectant. You need disinfectant to kill viruses and antibacterials to kill bacteria, which is why you don't get antibiotics for a viral infection. Don't forget to wash your rags well if you're going to wipe away any disinfectant. Make sure that you wash them above 70 degrees. Another thing is your kitchen appliances. You may come in or things like your kettle, your cooker, your taps or your faucets um, in your bathroom and your kitchen and things like this. This is what we touch before we wash our hands. So make sure you wash your hands and take care on the taps. Things like bath toys. Mm, this isn't quite disinfectant necessarily, but an easy trick to disinfect your kids bath toys is to stick them in the dishwasher. Anything plastic can go in the dishwasher. Make sure you put it on the top shelf of the dishwasher as, and then it will prevent it melting. Don't forget to also disinfect your remotes, your toilet flush button or your chain or your push lever in the toilet. Also mentioned the taps. Here's another thing. People say sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. Yes, I completely agree, but still, wash your hands. Sanitizer does not replace soap and water. Have you ever put sanitizer on when you've been out and then come home and wash your hands? You see how much dirt is on the sanitizer. The sanitizer does work, but it leaves all the dirt like trapped in the sanitizer. So make sure even if you're using sanitizer to wash your hands, wash them, then sanitize them rather than the other way around. A bit of information on how you can disinfect. I love my rubbing alcohol. The rubbing alcohol I've got is 99.9% .9 alcohol. I have shown this in my other videos. I use it for cleaning whiteboards. I use it to de-ice the cars because alcohol doesn't freeze. Um, I use it for sanitizing the toilet. I use it for sanitizing the taps. So I just spray it on, leave it either to evaporate or I might go back two to five minutes later and wipe it down, depending on the severity. You can use Dettol diluted. You can also get disinfectants in supermarkets, their own brand, and either use a neat or diluted. Read the product information label and it will direct you directly on how to use it. You can use Vaplosa Zaflora as a disinfectant. You can also use sanitizing wipes. These I recommend for things when you're outside and you don't have sanitizer or you can't wash your hands. Don't forget to sanitize your phones, your tablets, your car keys, your house keys, your office keys, any keys, use sanitizer. If they're stainless steel, you can use sanitizer like rubbing alcohol or Dettol straight in, dip them in for two to three minutes and take them out. If there's any plastic on them, be careful. You may just have to wipe them down with a disinfectant wipe. And don't forget some disinfectant wipes as well, like Clorox need to be wiped down and left and then re-wiped in order for it to be effective. As I mentioned, my rubbing alcohol, I use it for disinfecting, cleaning whiteboards, 
sanitizing my keys, sanitizing my hands. It's great for on the go. I've got a little box. I even use it for my nails. Alcohol doesn't freeze. As I said, I use it to de-ice my car in the winter as well. I purchased my five litre bottle of rubbing alcohol as I've always got it in the house. I buy it in five litres probably every six months. Um, obviously my usage has gone up since lockdown. I bought it about two weeks before lockdown. I paid 18 pounds for five litres. I looked at it at the first week of lockdown just out of curiosity on the price and it was up to 150 pounds. So be aware of overinflated prices with hand sanitizer, disinfectants. People are making a mint and make sure you get over 70% alcohol in order for it to be an effective disinfectant. The Dettol aerosol spray, be aware when using it on doors that are painted, the Dettol spray can turn white paint yellow. So be careful where you use the disinfectant spray. You're better off using rub rubbing alcohol. It does not discolor. Or if you really wanna waste alcohol, vodka will work too. Right guys, this is with us for the foreseeable future. And even if this is not for the bug, we can use this to protect ourselves from the everyday bugs of cold and flu and basic hygiene. So make sure you wash your hands 20 seconds, wear a mask if you're in public, Try and keep yourself safe, others safe. I know they're not foolproof. It's a restrictor of vapors coming out of you or coming back to you. So please wear a mask and stay two meters apart or six feet apart from other people who do not live in your household. We can fight this bug, but we fight it together. Another thing about masks is wash them daily. Yes, the reusable ones are great, but the same as your underwear, you wouldn't wear it for more than one day. Mind you, some people do. Make sure you wash your mask daily and therefore it is reusable. I would suggest having maybe three or four because masks seem to be like pens, they disappear like that. So treat your mask as you would your underwear, wash them daily, don't fidget with them and keep them over your nose and mouth. Right guys, that's all for today. I hope you found this video inspirational, just a reminder of what you can and cannot do. Make sure you read the directions on your product bottles. Let's all stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, take care, bye.